Hi, good afternoon, guys. This is Evelyn um, from our Professor Ponza's ethical hacking class, and today I'll be showing and demonstrating how to use the rubber ducky. Okay, so here we have the components of the rubber ducky and the packaging and some instructions that they have and other information as to how and in what ways you can use a rubber ducky. So the syntax, using a ducky script syntax, and let's go ahead and see. Yep, and we have an adapter for a micro SD card. So this is where you would actually store the inject bin files. And then after you can go ahead and do so, you take out the micro SD card and you put it in the actual rubber ducky. And once it is placed in here, you can place it and um, insert it into the computer and it'll automatically generate um, an, um, a, a payload. So I'll go ahead and demonstrate that. So right now, essentially what I'm doing is trying to find um, um, a ducky script specifically for the command that I want. So if you go to a ducky toolkit, they have pre-made ducky scripts um, for all different types of commands. So um, the one that I'll be demonstrating right now today would be the uh, generating a hello world message as soon as that rubber ducky is inserted into the computer. So we can find like a simple um, scripting code. Um, this shows the time that it's delayed and then the GUI and then a little more time to allow the, the whole script to process um, just with more ease. It shows that uh, we're going to have this message put or in place to the notepad application. So we'll go ahead and copy this. Then we're going to go to the encoder. And we're going to paste it and then generate the script. So it's gonna turn into A, you hit OK, into an inject bin file. So you're gonna go ahead and download that. And it's downloading. Then at this point, we're gonna go ahead and, and uh, insert the, the, where that inject bin is going to be stored. So that's gonna be in the micro SD card that comes with the rubber ducky. So we're going to go ahead and take that out and slip that out into the adapter. Okay, and then insert the adapter so we could save that inject bin into this micro SD card. Okay, so I see that it already has a file. So I did go ahead and try to um, put two inject files in the micro SD card, but that did not work. And it most likely has to do with because there needs to be one bin file per um, uh, penetration testing, so per per um, attack. Um, I did go ahead and look in some forums um, online and they told me that that is very common for that to happen. So we're gonna go ahead and delete this file. Yes. And we're gonna copy this onto the USB or the micro SD card. It's gonna copy onto here. And then we go ahead and eject it. Okay, so then it's safe to take out that micro SD card and then put it in the rubber ducky. Oops. 
stuck to the carpet. Okay. Then for this rubber ducky, we can see a 60 hertz, 32 bit CPU in the back. You can see that there. See if it focuses. And it does have an LED light. It's kind of a, it's a light indicator. So I've had, I did have it flash red uh, when, when it was not working properly. So whenever it um, was flashing red or would it, was it a solid red? That just simply meant that the uh, payload just didn't automatically command the computer when it was inserted. So, and then in this, we have the micro SD slot. So this is where you put the slip in the micro SD. And um, we also have a, a manual button just in case it doesn't execute automatically. So you just hit that. And it should also do the same thing as when you insert it. So we'll go ahead and put the micro SD card. And if all goes well, and it automatically um, executes the payload, then we should see a green light on top next to the button. There you go, there's the green light. And it's running the script, and there we go. We have our message, hello world. And if we do want to, we can always um, play with the coding and uh, change the message right here in this code. And then we would have to obviously generate a different script and a different inject bin to place it inside the micro SD card. So this is um, how the rubber ducky works and obviously we can look at different commands too or you can generate your own script if you're um, if you want to write your own scripts and we have one for um, Wi-Fi password grabber so apparently this script saves the SSID network type and authentication and the password onto a text file and emails the contact to a gmail account so that's super cool um in the case of hacking that's that's really really cool and you also have the metasploit powershell payload um just in case you want to go ahead and, and uh, execute that payload as well a wi-fi credentials to the duck so it saves it actually onto the duck to the micro sd card in the rubber duggy and we have a hard drive wipe so this specifically should delete everything on your hard drive <laughs> which is extremely dangerous and I do not want to test it onto my computer but I'm willing to test it on a dummy computer um, let's go ahead and see we have home page change so I have some pranks here that they'll go ahead and switch their wallpaper so completely like reverse so upside down so or the mouse can like when you move it up when you move the cursor up it'll go down so it's uh some pranks that we do with the rubber ducky too we have a shutdown pc script as well and voice output so you run you run you insert the rubber ducky and it um outputs a voice a voice file And yeah, so other than that, so using the USB rubber ducky 
It, um, you know, it has proven to be an effective way to hack computers that uh, a hacker can, you know, physically access, have access to. So the idea of this rubber ducky is to be undetectable and also very quick. So it's undetectable uh, by antivirus because it looks like an ordinary USB and it's actually read like a keyboard. So there, it, it surpasses the security of that um, computer because um, it, it plugs in and it reads like, oh, it's a keyboard. OK, that's that. Then we breach security. But other than that, like um, it's much easier than just sitting down and typing in commands. Um, and so typing in commands is more difficult than just plugging in a USB and letting that um, mechanism, that device, do all the work for you. So, yep, that's it. So, so this is usually used to solve, uh, you know, common IT problems such as reconnecting the network uh, shares and, and or sometimes the printers as well. But it just essentially automates uh, tedious jobs that uh, increases efficiency in, in IT work. But other than that, that's our rubber ducky. And you can go ahead and disguise it in what looks to be like a casing for a regular USB. So I'll go ahead and show you that as well. And this is actually an adapter for, um, for an Android phone. So that's really cool too. So you can do the same thing with your phone with this adapter. I'll go ahead and unplug it and then show the casing. Oops. It's like that. So it's supposed to look like that and you insert it like this and it's supposed to be um, a disguise of a regular USB but it is not and you can go ahead and insert that USB in here so you can plug it into your phone and do the exact same thing but on an Android so this is my project for uh, spring 2019 ethical hacking with professor Pons. thank you so much for watching my video and um, and I hope you've had all a great semester. Thank you.